Talk, talk to me, Sharp. What, what you hey, think sir. of it? Oh, how y'all doing? Um, yeah, now nah, just uh, real quick, I told you I'd give a recap afterwards for you. Um, real quick, um, naturally, uh, you know, coin flip. Who goes first? Uh, Trufo. Yep. Yeah. Anybody going? Anybody in 2022 going against Geechee Gotti and Geechee goes second? I automatically, in my mind, I'm saying Geechee probably wins this battle because you know more minimum is a thing and having the last say. Um, Trufo comes out crazy. Um, you know what I mean? But he also stumbles. I don't know. Maybe today was the, you know, and naturally he's one of the faces of Midnight Madness. So you, I'm rooting for him, you know, but um, he stumbles uh, in his first round. I feel like today a lot of stumbles were for some reason respected, you know, without, whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. or, you know, like, or just forgot about, but he stumbles some of his first. Geechee cleans right up after, after Trufo. Mm-hmm. I, I, I got a Geechee 1-0 going into the first, got me going into the second. Right. Second round, Trufo has the best round of the event. Period. Trufo has the to me like in that room that was the most like chills. Trufo has the best like it was real main event ish like that type of battle. Uh, it's one one going into the third, and then um and then uh you have now their third their third to me both was like it wasn't like ten rounds let's say for both was at eight but I count like. You have to hard judge on this type of battle because it really seemed like a vet, serious, top, top tier type. You know, what I mean the energy. Um, true four stumbles in that third. I don't know if they don't catch it. I don't know if it don't matter because his content is good. You know, everybody judges different, so I don't know if it's a preference thing. But mm-hmm. true does stumble in that third. Geechee's third is more clean. I had Geechee in the third also. That's fair. And I, and look, it was a split decision. So like. The same way you looked at it, a lot of the other judges and fans looked at it the exact same way. I just, I just feel like Trufo's first round had enough content. For if sure. you just listen to material, you can make the argument. And he, lucky for him, the people the, not, made the argument for him. Not trying to put the credit to the brand or anything like that. I mean, if some people take it like that, it is what it is cool. But I think that, you know, and Trufo's been battling way prior to Midnight Madness. But I think, like, the energy, and you've been there before. The yeah. energy and the type of the energy and the type of stakes that's on the line in Midnight Madness, I think that True Foe's very battle tested for these type of battles in this show tonight. You know what I mean? Like he's been battling for that belt on the line, like he said in his raps, was nothing to him. You know what I mean? The money, the like hundred K on the line, so what, let's do it. And I think that really like amplifies what go on at Midnight Madness and shit. And like and niggas like him, Snake, they showing what's going on in there, because that was a different type of truth. We've never seen that type of true folk. That was a real, you have to take your hat off. That was a real step up to the occasion type of like performance. If I've ever seen one myself, that would have to be top three ever. Like, come on, what was it, 90-10? And again, I got Geechee winning. But um, that was the top three battle rap ever in history, step up to the moment. And, and like, I think that is up there with Lux and Cal. I mean, not not Lux and Cal, with Lux and Math. I mean, Cal and Math, excuse Cal me. Cal and Math, Cal and Math. Cal and Math, you know, like at the time, Math was Math. Math was that guy, yeah. He was right, that guy and, Cal, yeah. and Cal was one of us going up, and Cal won. Like, the coach had Cal win, and I think that's like top three with them, too. I can't think of the, another one right now that would be in the three, but that's up there for me. Nobody, nobody had true for. 7%. Come on. Come on, you know what I mean. So I just think, you know, I think that's that, that's that's dope for him. You feel me? Like that's dope for him, and that and that I honestly, think it shows you, everybody you could you win. Said, you said you said you said a star might be born, and honestly, it, it might be because this is a perfect chance to change the narrative on your career, depending how far you go into the to the, to the tournament. But not only that, you defended the belt. Like you're the first right. belt defender, right? And you defended it against like one of the best competitors we it's have a, in this entire culture. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something, France, like. It's a code that people unlock. It's a code that uh, it's a code that battlers unlock. Like you know, everybody's different. You know how they say everybody road is different. Mm-hmm. Like you get to a certain point where the fans, like they like say, it, like their their ears go in AMG mode to where they're listening to you more. I think True Foe just unlocked that point. It's gonna be real. Like this is a respect level type of battle. You know what I mean? So like yes. Now anybody else battling True Foe, True Foe's gonna have that respect of the crowd to where it's like they're gonna be like. Way more receptive to that man. Way more receptive to that man. Like he just unlocked his "Hey, I could battle" card. He like, won you know the I mean? fan vote against the person with the most caffeine headliners. Uh, so he's damn near the face of the caffeine era. Well, he no, not damn near. He's a thousand percent the face of the caffeine era. Three yes. times. That's the three-time champion. Yes. 
Hey, so did you give Trufo a, a little break for the title match in June? Since the, um, uh, for the midnight match? Um, because, you know, like, we would be, like, we did the same for Billy Arno. Like, we would be a fool. Okay, we would be, a, you know, we would be crazy. He's, he's on a $100,000 chase. You know what I mean? Midnight Madness can't offer that for him right now. So we'd be, like, if it were, if there is a card in June, because we still get logistics together, if it is a card match in June, he would for sure be exempt. He would for sure, especially if he's still fighting in that 100K tournament, it would be no reason not to, to let him be, you know what I mean, let him be exempt. And technically, the card, the, the belt holders battles would be next month. He put his belt up already. Yep. He got to be on the card. He just did it. Yep. He just did it like that was amazing to me. That was that was that was masterful. Oh man, so it's out there. Of the belt. I don't know what and how much money a nigga gonna have to have to get this. Yeah, now nigga got the they got the best belt in Midnight Madness right now. <laughs> yeah, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Y'all that talking that snake eyes, sis. They guys, they do that. That war dog, man. That war dog. That's what it's about. Look, nigga, gonna need to put ten ten on the floor every time. That's what I'm thinking. Ten on the floor to sing. Y'all heard him, man. That's from God himself. Yup, big bro. Man, for real. Oh, hey, Gotti, we got to set up so I can do my little rap freestyle shit on your shit. We can set it up. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big bro, man. That shit was fire. Oh, for sure. Nah, man, bro, man. Big bro, welcome me to the elite tier, niggas, you know? Who better to do it? You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know what I'm saying? But, like... For real. No, that's how I feel. It just, gave, it just feel up the confidence. Like, like, like all right. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? I already got you. I'm already, you know what I'm For real. Love, foe. Hey, foe, we back in the A in two weeks. Pull up. Leezy, what's up, broski? Man, get y'all zombie treats. Hey, zombies, hit me up, man. We gonna talk my shit. Y'all get y'all promo code. Get y'all treats, man. War dog, foe. 